Alexa, we're thinking about funking up your case today. What do you reckon? Let's get this bad boy funked up, Nick. Happy days. Ha <laughs> ha! Alexa, are you going to talk to me today? Nick, you are a bit strange and weird, but I like it. This is my new resin room. Not many of you have seen this yet. Well, you have now. <laughs> so I've kind of got a separate room in here because I kind of don't want any duff getting into the resin. So with this project, what I thought we would do today is I thought that we would try to customize this. Now with this Amazon Alexa, you can just pop the case out like so. Um, and it's quite cool because what we can do here is I think that we can customize this case. And I reckon this is gonna look pretty funky. Latigra. So with my one, I don't know if it's the same with all the other Amazon Alexa cases, I don't know, some of them might be different, I'm not sure, but this one, you know, it comes out. We could definitely replicate this in some fashion. And I'm thinking maybe we can make it out of wood, but then this one's already wood. Um, but maybe a mixture of wood and resin with, ah! What about we chuck in some of these? Where are they? I'm sure they were in here earlier on. Oh. Ah. These badgers. Oh, oh. You remember these? We made a project from this a little while back now. It was a really large, homusive pencil. Yep, it's a big pencil. Ha ha ha. And we cut up so many pencils in that project and we kept all the tips. And I reckon these tips are gonna work perfectly in this project today. This is gonna be so funkadelic, Nick. I know. If you're looking to get some resin, the stuff I use, just head on over to resin4art.com. This is looking good, Alexa. Nick, I will love whatever you make me. As long as it's not made from coloured pencils. Right, so that's the middle part of it. Um, well, the top part of it. I'm gonna split this up with wood and pencils. Uh, so I thought it might be quite cool maybe to have a pencil bit, then a wood bit, because that will be also helpful for the drilling of the holes, which we need to do kind of a lot of. And then we'd have another kind of like row of pencils. Well, that's my thinking anyway. Now I've got this American walnut hunk of chunk, and I reckon this would work kind of well with the contrast of the pencils. Right, in order to do this, I'm gonna put this little badger plate on here, which will fit just nice, apple slice. Uh, and this will be perfect. I got this from Record Power and it kind of came with my chucks, uh, but you can buy these separately. Uh, I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna, not glue, I'm gonna screw <laughs> that into there. Um, and then uh, we will be able to just shimmy a little bit off of there. It's 
got this in here now, and then we've so we've got we've got our little pencils, and then we've got the bit of wood that we're going to mix in. Then we've got this other piece here, which we're going to try to attach to the top of that. So kind of you're going to get like you know the pencils, then you've got the wood, which we're going to put all the you know holes in, perforated kind of holes everywhere for the sound to come out. And then we've got that to go on the top. Well, actually, that's the bottom. This is the top. So that should be about right, as long as this kind of stays straight. If that doesn't stay straight, mm, that would be a little bit of a bummer. But not too much of a problem because we can, um, you know, we can just slice this off uh, and then use this blank and then stick another piece of wood on, I guess. But mm, ideally, it'd be nice if it just stays like that. So. Let's see, let's get this in the pressure pot. As you've probably gathered, I do like working with pencils. Nick, stop waffling on. Right. Whilst that's stewing in the pressure pot, it's time for us to go to bed and come back in the morning. Nick, let's take one step at a time, shall we? Plus, I'm not that type of girl. Are you ready for this? Done, that's done. Okay, that's ideal. That will work for the bottom bit that we need. Happy days. Right, now this is the, uh, oh, there we go. Right. Um, it's gone in a little bit wonky. Hmm, might be all right. There she blows. And we got this one. It's quite nice like that actually. I like that. Maybe we can do another project kind of around this type of feature next. That might look quite nice. Maybe like some coasters or something cool. But they look pretty neat, eh? So we're gonna use that and we're gonna get that stuck on there. It's like that somehow. Once we sort of shape it all up. Okay, funky people. This is what we've got, uh, and then this is what we've got as well. So the idea is that we now kind of shape this up to the right size. Uh, hold it, can I like, we want to try and replicate this, is what we're trying to do. So we want the perforated holes in the wood. Um, it's about right, it's got a bit of plan. Just to get some weight now, uh, it is a little bit out of shape here, so mm, don't know how to sort of do that just yet. Might have, because you don't want this bobbing around everywhere. Uh, I want to try and keep that as well as we can. I did try and keep it as difficult as it sort of set itself overnight, but... Stop waffling, Nick, and let's get on with it. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to build um, a little casing around here um, and then we're going to pour another bit of resin in here so that it gives it a bit more thickness to play with going up here and that should be fine you won't really notice that. So there's another night I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> See this is why these projects take me so long. <laughs> uh, but. Um, so I think that's going to be the best option. So I'm going to seal up around here. I'm going to use some of this, um, well, some of this stuff, actually. This is this is the stuff I use. Sort of like corrugated kind of plastic stuff. Um, and then we'll sort of just make that. We'll, we'll hot glue it around so that it doesn't get out. Um, bring it up to, you know, bring it up to probably about here. And then just put a bit of resin in there. So, and then just put it back in the pressure pot. And that should help us, really. Well, should help me. <laughs> Well, I hope so anyway. So it's ready now for the resin pour. 
Um, and, uh, you know, resin can really find any little nook and cranny to come out of. So, you know, you really want to seal this up pretty tight, you know, and even when you think you've sealed it, seal it again. <laughs> um, so I will be putting some more uh, hot glue on this just around here, just to bulk it up a bit more, a bit more down here. Um, you know, just to really, really secure this thing. So really don't want the resin leaking out of here because it'll be just an absolute pain in the bum. Because it will just be an absolute pain in the bottom. So that will give me a little bit more wriggle room, you see, around the edges. That's all we want, just a small amount, really, just to give us a bit of play when we shake this up. Uh, so, uh, right, let's get pouring the resin. Right, so we've now got to wait another night. Well, I have. For you, it will be here in a second. I've just got to think about what I can do now, really. Nick, I think it's time for you to chill out, have a nice cup of tea and think about how funky this case is going to be. So anyway, there we go. That is so far so good. What do you reckon of this, Alexa? I don't have any tips for that yet, but there are a lot of topics I do know about. Try asking me for tips about gardening, fashion, art, guitar, relaxation or backpacking. No, what I'm on about is this new pencil case for you. What do you reckon? I know Nick, I was just winding you up. Ha, ha. Yes, I love it.
this is as far as we've got. <laughs> this is looking pretty cool already. Uh, she fits in there just about, obviously a little bit there, but I can't go any further in to hollow this out because it's just not feasible. So, but that's fine anyway, because we do need, we do need, we do need to put this uh, on the bottom uh, because I want the pencils kind of like, you know, here and I want a bit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of get this on the lathe and we can use this as the bottom. We're gonna just finish this part of it. Uh, I've already sanded it down to sort of 240 grit. I'm gonna put some sand and sealer on it in a minute and then finish it up. But before we take this off of here, we need to drill some funky looking holes so that we can hear the funky music that comes out of Amazon Alexa. Isn't that right, Alexa? Well, she can't talk at the moment. Um, <laughs> so oh, we've got a bit to do, so I'm gonna leave it for there for now. Um, because it's the end of the night for me, but I'll be back. Obviously, no time difference for you. We're gonna start drilling some holes here uh, because we need to mimic that one there, that one, uh, and get some holes in there. So I think we'll start, you know, just trying to work out. Maybe we'll draw them out first, pinpoint them all, because I'm not sure if I want them all scattered. I think it'd be nice if they were uniformed, I think. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see, but it's looking pretty cool. All right, Tommy. Trifilia, morning. This is pretty tedious, as you can probably imagine. There certainly is a lot of holes to drill. Come on, couple more. Woohoo, yes! Oh, I finished! That took absolutely ages. Here's a challenge for you. Who can tell me how many holes in here? <laughs> I think mean, that's pretty impossible. But if you fancy, give it a go.
What do you reckon, folks? So, it's not fully buffed up yet, but it's pretty near. I'm gonna get it on the buffing wheel once we take this off. But I'm gonna part this off now. Um, you see past here, this is where it's gone into the resin and this is the wood. So I'm gonna take it high, actually. Uh, and if we need to add in any more holes, we can do. But there's enough holes there for the sound to travel through anyway. So I'm gonna take it off about here all the way around and then we're just going to get that nice wood effect as opposed to the resin bit there i can't get in there at the moment to sort of clean that up so uh yeah looking good i reckon she's gonna love this So that's what we've got so far. Now we've got to put the base on this so that it fits all the way in. I like it. This is definitely gonna be a good one. Not long now, Alexa. Okay, so it transpires that this is too small. Uh, we need a bit more kind of bulk uh, on the resin. So I'm gonna have to do what I did before um, and put a bit more resin in. So I'm just gonna make up uh, another little mold. Uh, <laughs> always forget my words. And then put a bit of resin in, only up to sort of here-ish. So that will basically give us a little bit more thickness to play with. Here's one I made earlier. Well, just a minute ago. So again, same again. <laughs> Got that in there, middle there, and then we're just gonna pour resin in there up to so high, just to give us an extra room.
Alright, there we go, folks. That is now carved out, ready uh, to be able to put our power in. That's where the power goes. So that will fit in there fairly well. I mean, it's not perfect, but that's good enough for Judd. Hey! <laughs> Happy days! So, there is my bottom. <laughs> well, not my bottom. Your bottom, Alexa. Nick, that doesn't look like my bottom. It does. So there we go. And still waiting a bit of a polish up, but uh, we do that on the buffing wheel at the end. So, this will get glued to this. Like that. <laughs> hey! We're getting there. But it certainly has taken some time. You can say that again, I'm so bored. Well, I am not. I'm making this for you, women. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. So as you can see, it's looking pretty cool and pretty funky. Yeah, baby, yeah! Just as I imagined it. Almost perfect. <laughs> so all's left to do now is to glue this up, which we're going to use some epoxy for this. Leave that to set overnight. Then we come back and buff this bad boy up. Nick, this is taking so long. I do hope your followers are going to like this one. I mean, it does look funky. <laughs> you know that. Customizable, funky looking Amazon Alexa case. Now, this is definitely funkadelic, right? Come on, Alexa, tell me what you think. Nick, I don't know if you have noticed, but I'm naked right now. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry about that. Well, I guess it looks like you need a new case, Alexa. Are you ready, Alexa? Is the question. I've waited a long time for this. Let's get this party started. Me too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. as they say, as they say, like a glove. Beautiful fit, eh? This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Cue the music. Well, there it is, folks, and she fits in there perfectly. <laughs> I love this. That was two blows there. That's because it's extra special. I do hope that you guys like this and you thought this was a cool project because Alexa did in their eye. She's sleeping. It did take me quite a while, this one, and I kind of had to think about how to kind of put this together 
Um, but it, it actually turned out pretty well, actually. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I think that's definitely a pretty cool case for your Alexa. Um, and I don't know if all the cases come off. There we go, look, there's a the bottom there. And then obviously you've got this bit where you can push that through because it sort of, sort of slots into place. So you can push this as we did at the beginning and that just pops her out. But it's got like a little suction on it and it just fits in there really nicely, just as it does on the old case where you can just... Oh, <laughs> that, let's do that again, let's do that again. <laughs> it's just beautiful the way that fits in there so snug. <laughs> I love it, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, I don't know if I'd make another one because just like everything I kind of make, they do take me quite some time and I, as you know, you probably know me, I kind of only make kind of one of something, you know, very rare I make two of them. Um, so yeah, I really do like that. I'm going to keep this one in the kitchen. I think it's going to look really cool uh, in the kitchen. Much better than this one. I'm not actually too sure if you can buy customizable cases for Amazon Alexas or not. Um, I definitely know you can't buy one of these. There wasn't really anywhere for me to fit my logo in this one, so, uh, uh, bit of a shame. I might be able to maybe squeeze it in the front there. It's possible I could do that. It's not going to fit in there perfectly, though, and there's not a lot of room in there to, well, no, it probably would go in there, actually. I could just put one, and put it in the middle there. It's possible I could do that, sort of opposite to the, where the power goes. Uh, I think maybe, maybe in the front there, what do you think? If that would look alright. I don't know. I don't know whether that might spoil it or not. But then I kind of do like to brand the stuff that I make. Uh, even if I'm keeping it really. Um, I'll see if I can squeeze one in there. I just really don't want to ruin this. Um, <laughs> I'll see if I can get one in there though. Maybe a brass one might look quite nice. Um, and the bottom looks kind of cool, doesn't it? And if you have a look inside. See look, she's perfect. Pop her down there a minute. You can see the inside. It's alright. That's all right, I'm pretty, I'm pretty chuffed with that. So I had this one on my mind for quite some time uh, and uh, it's just sort of getting around to doing it. I've got loads of things going on in my head as to what to make and this one has been rumbling around for, for months and months. I was thinking, yeah, I'll do this. I'll do a customizable Alexa case. I think that would be pretty cool out of pencils. Um, and then I sort of just thought, right, I'm gonna get this done now. <laughs> so um, there we go. Um, well, I do really hope that you like this one, guys. If you did, please could you share the video? That would be absolutely helpful to me. Uh, and uh, maybe get some more people over looking at the funky stuff that I'm doing. Uh, give us a thumbs up and a comment below what your thoughts are. I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but what is, right? Please don't forget to check out all the links below in my description where I get my music from. A few other links in there of the kit that I use in my workshop. Obviously, where you can buy an Amazon Alexa. Not that this video is sponsored by Amazon Alexa whatsoever, but I think it should have been. Well, I hope you like this one, folks. Take care, have a fab weekend, and I'll see you all really soon. Cheers. Hey Nick, don't leave me here. Take me with you or lose me forever.